So we have Jared started here in a tall kneeling position. And we would keep him in a tall kneeling position most of the time. If he did have a one on the screen on the active straight leg raise, or the hurdle step, or the inline lunge, those single leg positions, we would have him be in a 90-90 uh, split position in the kneeling position. So for demonstration purposes, we're going to have him be tall kneeling on this one. So we'll have Jared uh, uh, go ahead and grab the kettlebell, grab it by the horns, and get into a nice tall kneeling position with his knees in line with his hips, his hips in line with his chest, and his chest in line with his head. So there's a straight plumb line all the way down from his ears to his knees. Uh, he's, his hips are extended all the way through too. So from there, we're going to start the kettlebell on one side of the body, and he's just going to cross the midline and press up and diagonal the opposite direction. Now, he's keeping his lower body static here, but we're getting a little bit of rotation from the T-spine, not a whole lot from the lumbar spine. So we want to keep a static lumbar, a static lower body, get a little bit of rotation here from the T-spine, but maintain that nice rib cage position, that nice lumbar spine as he rotates so we get a lot of challenge here in the core on the, uh, making sure that he maintains a good quality posture. So we can go either direction um, and to challenge whatever pattern the client has that is the least proficient pattern. And that is the kneeling kettlebell lift.